Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very special car in for exhaust upgrade. And the car that we are currently working on is right over there. Right over here, we have a very beautiful 911 GT3 RS. This is a 997 model, Mark 1. So a little bit of information regarding the 997.1 GT3 RS. The car is launched back in October 2006. So Porsche built this 997 GT3 RS in order to fulfill the requirements for homologation of the race car series. And there is a very limited amount of this were produced by Porsche. Let's estimate around 1,168 units of the 997.1 GT3 RS has ever made. And we have a very few numbers of this right over here in Malaysia. But with this color combination, the black and orange color, I was told that there's only around maybe two or three finish off with this color combo. So this is an extremely rare GT3 RS. It's a collector's item. So we are very pleasure to be given a chance today to install our exhaust system on this beautiful example. Before we start our installation of the IPE exhaust on the GT3 RS, and now let's have a sound check on how the factory exhaust system sounds like. And also we will talk about the specs and the options and some technical data of the car in this video later on. After a few hours of hard work and we have finally removed the factory exhaust out from the GT3 RS and now we put it side by side to compare with the brand new IPE exhaust that we are going to fit onto the car later. So now let's talk a little bit about this beautiful IPE exhaust system. So first of all, this IPE system is a full exhaust system which includes the headers, everything and this IPE exhaust is made out of stainless steel material but of course we do have the titanium option as well if you would like to go with titanium and right over here because the owner he actually decided to go all out with this setup so he has opted for a catless header which means that we don't have any catalytic converters at all it's a straight through header then moving to the back, these are the IPE catback system. As you can see, they have applied a layer of this high temperature heat protector on the muffler itself. And right over here, these are the valves. Then also, we have this IPE chrome silver exhaust tips that comes in the package as standard. So now, we are going to talk a little bit about the factory exhaust system. These are the factory headers. So it comes with the catalytic converters. I assume that these are actually 600 or 700 cells. So with the catalytic converters, of course, the car will sound very quiet because of all the restrictions inside the cats. Then to the rear, the catback section, as you can see, Right over here on the factory exhaust, there is these two very huge side mufflers on the GT3 RS and also on the GT3. These are the standard design for all the GT cars. These side mufflers actually restricts a lot of sound and also the performance on the GT cars. And then to the back, there is this back box section 
that actually removes a little bit of sound as well when you pair it together with the whole setup. So, on the factory exhaust, these are where the valves actually located at. When the valves are closed, the exhaust gas flow flows from the headers and it flows into the side mufflers and exits from these tiny pipes right over here and flows into the back box before it exits from the tailpipes. Then when the valves are fully open, it will flow directly into the back box before exiting from the tailpipes and still you get some restrictions inside this rear back box. Then now we move over to the IPE system. As you can see right over here, the IPE exhaust has a completely different design and layout compared to the factory system. So on the IPE system, of course the headers, these are catalysts from the engine, the exhaust gas flow flows directly into the headers and without the cats, it flows into the muffler box. And on the muffler box, these are where the valves located at. When the valves are fully closed, the exhaust gas flows into the muffler and exits from the smaller pipes on top before exiting from the tailpipes. And when the valves are fully open, the gas flow comes from here, directly flows into a piping section inside the muffler and flows into this bigger pipe section at the bottom and exits from the tailpipe. So with the valves fully open, it is a very straight through design. It offers the most sound, the most performance on the NA engine. And now we are going to compare the IPE exhaust tips against the factory tailpipes. From here, we can see that obviously this IPE exhaust tips is way larger compared to the factory sport exhaust tailpipes, which is finished off in chrome black color. So these are the standard chrome silver tips that comes along with the package, but we do have other optional colors available whereby you can choose to upgrade to the titanium blue tips, the chrome black tips or even the carbon fiber tips. All right, so basically these are the key difference between the IPE system and the factory system. And of course, this IPE system by the looks and also the stainless steel material that was being used, it is definitely a lot lighter compared to the heavy and bulky factory exhaust system. So once we have this IPE system installed on the GT3 RS, the car will definitely sound very amazing. Best part about this IPE system is that it is a fully plug and play system whereby there is no any modifications needed, there is no additional wirings, there is no remote needed in order to operate the valves. We just plug in this IPE system onto the car, plug in the vacuum lines and we are ready to go. The valve's operation, it is fully comply with the factory control whereby you operate the valves by using the spot button in the cabin. You click on the spot button, it opens up the valve and when you turn it off, the valves are closed. So yeah, that's basically all the information about this IPE system. And now let's get back to work to install the IPE exhaust on the GT3 RS.
Now let's talk a little bit about this very beautiful 997.1 GT3 RS. So the GT3 RS is actually 20 kilograms lighter than the standard 997 GT3 and it is weight about 1370 kilograms. All the weight reduction are actually achieved by a few components on the car. First of all is this carbon fiber rear wing which is adjustable then also the steel engine cover we have also the plexiglass rear window so with all this combination added together it achieved about 20 kilograms of weight reduction compared to the standard gt3 with all the weight reduction on the gt3 rs the power to weight ratio is about 300 horsepower per ton on this 997.1 GT3 RS. The body on the 997 GT3 RS is actually 44 mm wider compared to the 997 GT3 and with this slightly wider body it improves the directional stability and also increase the cornering grip but however the larger rear wing right over here it actually increased the drag and results in the reduction of the top speed on the GT3 RS right under the foot of the 997 GT3 RS this is a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated flat 6 engine that is the same one on the 997 GT3 while the GT3 RS has a 6-speed manual transmission that comes with a race gear ratio so that it is more engaging to drive the car with this gear ratio but however the 997 GT3 RS has a single mass flywheel that allows the car to rev faster compared to the standard GT3. The horsepower wise, this engine is rated at 415 horsepower and 405 newton meters of torque. It is capable of revving all the way up to 8400 rpm while for the 0 to 100 it is capable of doing 4.2 seconds with a top speed of 310 kilometers per hour. On the exterior of this beautiful example, 997 GT3 RS, it is painted in the standard black color while the side mirrors are painted in orange color as well as these RS wheels, they are finished off in orange color as well and right behind the wheels, these are actually the optional carbon ceramic brakes with the yellow color calipers and on the door size these are the GT3 RS decals finished off in orange color in order to match with the wheels and also the side mirror and on the rear wing the end plate are painted in orange color as well as right over here the GT3 RS sticker in orange color and on the interior you actually have the option for the roll cage to be painted same as the exterior color so for this car the roll cage is finished off in orange color in order to match with all the orange elements on the car exterior now let's move to the interior of the gt3 rs so first of all this car has the club sport package 
So as you can see, there's the roll cage at the rear which is painted in orange colour to match with all the exterior elements and also the wheels of the car. Then right over here, we have this beautiful carbon fibre bucket seats which is the exactly same bucket seats as the Carrera GT. Then on the rear of the driver's seat, there is this six-point race harness that comes along with the car. Well, for the dashboard area, this is a 2007 GT3 RS. So it is very simple. As you can see, there's no any carbon fiber bits around the dashboard area like the modern 911 GT3s. So what we have here is an Alcantara steering wheel. The six-speed manual transmission gear shifter is finished off in Alcantara as well as the handbrake and this is a very interesting thing on the GT3 RS whereby you actually have cup holders not one but two cup holders on a GT car how interesting is this but for the center console area you don't see any of the touch screen or the fancy stuff like the ones on the new modern generation GT3s. What we have here is the air conditioning controls. Then right below of it, this is the PSM button. Beside the PSM button is the sport button, which activates the sport mode and also activates the exhaust valves. And finally, the traction control off button, which turns off the traction control completely and finally we have completed the installation of our IPE exhaust on this very beautiful and classic 997.1 GT3 RS so let us know in the comments sections below what do you think about the IPE exhaust on the GT3 RS how does it sound and also do let us know what do you think about the specs on this beautiful GT3 RS the black and orange combination how does it look like on this very iconic and timeless classic 997.1 GT3 RS. If you like our content, remember to like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting contents in the future.